So for installing the front and rear main seals on these John Deere's, I have a couple of tools that I made because I figure if you're buying one, I could make it better, depending. There's variables. Anyways, this is the one I use for the rear main seal. This one I made out of six inch steel because that's what I had. It was easy to use. And then this one's just, I think, three and a half inch aluminum. So I've got a couple of pieces on it. It depends on, depends on what kind of crank you've got. This one is a uh, single bolt front. Sometimes there's a two bolt. So I have, I just use a bushing as a washer. So if you've got a two bolt, then I've got this that I made. This is just from some uh, metric all thread. And then for ease of use, I milled a wrench flat on it and then turned this down to a smaller size. So then this, I will put into the end of the crankshaft. This is for the two bolt. And then I've got where this end goes into the crankshaft. And then this is what I use to tighten it on. And that would be where am I at? That's if I'm using this two bolt. Now I'm do doing the single bolt on this one. So I do it in two stages. And I've got two rings here. And I start off with this one, just one of them. And then this, and I turned it so it fits into itself, it doesn't move. And that simply goes on to there. And then just tighten her up with a 1 and 3 16 wrench. Now it bottomed out. My problem is I built this motor too good and it turns over with just the wrench. So I'll put a piece of aluminum in the gears and that'll keep it from moving. Let's see, then I get my second part, and if you notice, if you know anything about these motors, the seals, you don't want, you want to push these even, and so I have this relief cut in the ends, so that the seals sits in here perfect and it centers and it's just nice. Now I've got my second ring, I'm going to place that there. That one. Jiggle a little bit, make sure it's center. So you can buy these John Deere tools, but on a cheap state like that. Instead of buying it for hundred dollars, I'd rather spend three days making some. It's not that bad. And then just go until it doesn't turn no more. There we are. Installed front main seal. Now I'll be taking the motor off of my stand and putting the rear main seal on with that bigger one. Now I'm continuing on with putting the rear main seal on it. You want to see a real dork? That's a real dork right there. Never have an older brother. They're useless. Says you. Yeah. Turd. So I'm continuing putting on the rear main seal. And this is the seal puller that I, the pusher that I made. It's super overkill, six inch steel. It's a little too heavy. But you know what? It's material I had sitting around. So I have two all threads 
they're just kind of a stud. And then I have spots, two spots. I drilled both of them just in case. Never know which side the dowel pin's gonna be on. So then this just goes right on there. And that fits. Oh, that's a good fit. This is the second time I've used this one. I just made this one. You can buy a cer uh, very similar seal press online. They're about 180 bucks. But this one looks like it works a lot better than all those other ones. Really big and, well, I made it, so of course it's going to work. I sound like I'm a... Like my know-it-all, right? Now the trick is keeping it consistent. So I know it's flat because I slammed it up against it. So I'm going to keep nice even turns with my <clears throat> with my wrench. So I do half turns to make sure that that seal <clears throat> is going on straight. You want to use a fine thread. Uh, well, actually, it doesn't matter for the crank. If you really want to make it, uh, this is <clears throat> coarse thread. So if you wanted to do it the right way, you'd make a stud and then put a fine thread on it. So that way you can get a more consistent push. But this is going to work just fine. <clears throat> so for the front, the front seal, I had two things where you have a one bolt in the middle and then two on the ends. This is very similar to doing the, the two studs. The front of the crank variates from the different John Deere motors, but the, the back one is a, a one size fits all. Now I haven't, <clears throat> so I made this one. So if, if, it, if there's interest in what my dimensions are on it, if you guys want to just make your own, let me know, maybe I'll put that up somewhere for you so you can make your own. Because the hard part is measuring it all. That's where all the work is at. But most people will just buy the $175 part. And then boom, we're on. So you spend three hours making a tool and you only use it for about five minutes. So there it is. That's uh, the tools that I've made to install front and rear main seals. So it's just kind of handy. Thanks for watching.